I'm Kippy from KippyAtHome.com. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, I am joining some other creative crafters, and we are crafting up some beautiful bows just in time for the holidays and for all your fall crafting. I'm going to be showing y'all how to make this super simple five-minute bow, and let's get started. All right, we've got our easy no-fail bow. I wanted to show you the two different kind of ribbon. Um, the burlap is a little stiffer and you get kind of a different look there. It's a little harder to um, get it fluffed. Once it's there, it's pretty stiff. And in the back, you want to leave these part, this part long if you're going to tie it to a reef or something. If not, you can just cut it right off. The buffalo check is a very thin ribbon and it makes a little different bow. And sometimes it's kind of cute to put them together. All right, let's get started. We're going to use some zip ties to hold our little bow together. We're gonna to need scissors, and you see those are my ribbon, only scissors, and my favorite kind of wire cutters, and of course the ribbon. The supply list will be in the description below, so make sure you check that out, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna figure out how long we want our ribbon to be, and those are gonna be our circles. And of course, once you go around that circle, you need a little extra Tail, so you don't um, forget to catch it in your zip tie. So I'm kind of looking and saying, well, that might be a wee bit too small. So I'm gonna make my circle a little bit bigger because the circle's gonna be flattened out, so to speak. And then you'll see how big your bow's gonna be. So you can see we're just gonna go around in that circle and I'm gonna go around it three times. And I'm gonna come back to where that little tab is sticking out and I wanna end it kind of in the same kind of idea, but going the other way. So you catch both of those ends in your little tab, uh, zip. Now I wanna cut my streamer or my tails and I'm just gonna use one piece folded over, kind of figure out what my length is and I just cut it straight across because I wait until I actually attach the bow ordinarily before I actually trim it. So I'm just putting my elements together Next, I'm gonna do that little tie in the middle. So I'm gonna figure this out, and I used about 16 inches, and you might even do it longer. You might use 20 inches and make that little knot in the middle and just cut it away because I'm making this with, well, I have two hands, but it's really need a third hand. So I'll just go ahead and make my, cut all my little elements and sit them out there, and then making the bow is like super fast. Just taking my ribbon that's been around in those circles and I went around three times and I'm finding that little center spot and I did that by folding it in half and that wire makes a little bend there and you can see it and so I'm just trying to show you that once you do that you can add your little um, streamer there kind of find the center, center of the streamer and then just grab a zip tie and zip tie it right together it's that simple going to trim that zip tie and I did pull the zip tie to the back because it does have a, like a little bit of a bump and I wouldn't want that on the front just in case it would peep, peek through I would make sure it's on the back and I'm using those wire cutters and they are the best if you craft it all you definitely want a pair of these so I will put that list of that below so I'm tying this off and like I told you before that you want to make those long enough if you want to tie it around something I don't you know onto a gift onto a reef, onto anything that you might want to use. You see what I'm saying? You make it kind of long or you can uh, pull some wire through it, which I'm actually going to do, or a zip tie. All right, we're going to start fluffing that bow. And what I do is I pull out from the bottom and then I go in the opposite direction on the opposite side. The top loop, the outer top loop, I never move. I pull out from inside it and I start at the bottom or the lowest loop and I go in the opposite direction. Y'all might find a way that works for you better, but this is what I do. So I just gonna take me about two seconds here and I'll have this bow fluffed up. And like I said, once I put it on the reef or however I'm using it, maybe I put it on a lantern or something on the front door, then I will cut those streamers. But for the sake of showing you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them tonight. All right, I'm just gonna kind of hold my little bow up here to my loopy wreath that I made in an earlier video, and I can link that below, and that is another no-fail, like, 
couple minute reef and because it's so off-white loops you can use it all year so it's really cozy in the fall and the Christmas time of course so I see that I don't want this to be too long so I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in half like that and finish those little ends I'm gonna add a wire a piece of floral wire and I'm just gonna see if that's long enough and then I'm gonna attach it through the back to the back of the bow and I will just get it tied away on the back of the reef and I'll show you that in a second I'm gonna add this wire around and then when I get to the back I don't want to completely hide the wire and I'm saying that because I will be taking this bow off I've used this this reef so many times so I want to leave it long enough that I can kind of see where it is and I can undo it when I am ready to change the bow so I can just change the bow so simply and I did cut a little bit of that little tab off right there and you could if sometimes you need to cut the one on the inside too but you can kind of see after you get it where you're gonna use it and see what you need to do so I'm just gonna refluff my bow and we're almost finished all right guys that was a lot of fun I hope y'all will be crafting up some beautiful bows if this fall and also for the holidays y'all can use these on your Christmas trees and gifts and everything so make sure you visit all the rest of the uh, crafters they're in the description below so you can grab that playlist and you won't be sorry make sure you subscribe ring the bell and I will see you soon have a great day